Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make that change happen, this week I am answering a question from one of the students of the Blockchain and Bitcoin Fundamentals course. Mark asks, As I understand it, 12.5 Bitcoins are received by a miner every 10 minutes. How do we get to the total number of almost 16.7 million Bitcoins in circulation today? Let me add to that. How will we reach 21 million Bitcoins by the year 2140 if you're issuing 12.5 Bitcoins every 10 minutes? Somehow it doesn't make sense. Actually, it does. And I'll give you the answer right after this. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how we're going to get to 21 million Bitcoins by the year 2140, and also how we got to approximately 16.7 million at the time of this recording. In order to do that, I need to give you a little bit of background about Bitcoin and what's known as the controlled supply of Bitcoin. You see, Bitcoin will only have a maximum of 21 million Bitcoins, which will be created by the year 2140. And this was stipulated since the beginning by Satoshi Nakamoto. This limited supply of Bitcoin has some very carefully orchestrated rules as to how these Bitcoins are generated. You see, when Bitcoin started, the mining reward was not 12.5 Bitcoins per every 10 minutes. It was actually 50 Bitcoins every 10 minutes. And Satoshi Nakamoto built it into the system that way because there were no Bitcoins at the time. So you needed to be able to create a lot of Bitcoins so there would be enough supply for everybody to use. So at the time, if you work it out, 50 Bitcoins every 10 minutes works out to 7,200 Bitcoins daily. So that's how you were creating a lot of Bitcoins in the beginning. But Satoshi Nakamoto also took that into consideration and he built in something known as the halving. The halving is a process in Bitcoin that stipulates that every four years, actually it's 210,000 blocks, the amount of Bitcoins that are issued as a reward is cut in half. So what that means is that after the first halving, Instead of giving away 50 Bitcoins to a miner, that miner would be receiving 25 Bitcoins for that mining reward. And that brought down the daily supply created down to 3,600 Bitcoins. And that process continued until the next halving, which actually took place in the year 2016 in July, which brought down that number to 12.5 Bitcoins, which is the current place where we are at the time of this recording. That translates into 1,800 new Bitcoins created on a daily basis. And that process will continue until the next halving. That next halving will take place in June 12, 2020, and it will bring it down to 6.25 Bitcoins, which means that there will be a total of 900 Bitcoins created on a daily basis. And that will continue until the next halving. And you can keep up the math all the way to the year 2140, when you will see that we will reach the 21 million mark, which will mark the last Bitcoin that will ever be mined. And that's how we reach this number. I hope you find it valuable. And I look forward to seeing you next week when I bring you another video about blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. If you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you. Click like. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.